Oh man. That just broke off. What the fuck? With all that trim? There's a lot more. Are your gauges working finally? Some what? Four. Four of them? Which yeah. four of them? When I tighten the steering column, mm -hmm. the uh, the, the, the uh, RPM one. Hey, did you bring the up? It's cut up. Where is it? You didn't bring it? No. Oh, I should have brought it. Well, I was debating on bringing it. You should have brought it. We would have put it on. Was it a... Uh, did you test it? Yeah, we were testing it. It's good snug. I don't know. Uh... How many you use uh, that rod or nothing? Well, I had the, uh, the window well. I wanted to close it. This is new. No material. What? The cat's theater? Well, you're done. There ain't no window well. I have everything. Get him! Get him! House. Get him! You wanna help me? See? You see? Well, fucking game door is whatever. See? You have a yeah, you everything at the house. You still have to fucking fix your uh, what? That side for it. Oh my god. I don't. I don't have to. I'm just saying it's be nice kind of thing. I don't. You wanna tell the camera what this car's about? Not today. Not today. Ah, I knew it. Put more shit together. Why? No, dude, they want to see the progress. Oh, interesting. It's, what the fuck happened? <laughs> they're going to see it all, all complete and then they're going to be like, oh, well, then, then, okay. Let me piece it together a little bit more. We're almost there. And did you Did you tighten up the suspension after you, uh. Hey, are you sure you don't want to pass that before you Huh? <laughs> no, that's the whole point. Otherwise, I would just put the rubber and then put the axle glass on. That's why I put this, that's why I'm gonna put this glass because it's temporary. Oh, the glass is just temporary? Yeah. You're gonna buy a real it's one? A fix. Oh. I have a real glass. No, yeah, just leave it. Race cars, Lexan, lightweight. Well, yeah. Well, it allows me to be lazier about it. <laughs> Alright, right. That's what I'm saying. If you want, can. Yeah. Dang, this breaks. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the stock 10 and 3 quarters. How do you feel now that you're driving it though? <laughs> I wanna drive it. This one I drive it even more. <laughs> now that it's here. Yeah. One thing when it's just sitting there and you're just like, whatever, it's not going anywhere. Now it's you like you know it can go somewhere. You know you can take it with you. Now it's a, it's a living thing. Yeah. Now it like kind of looks at me when I walk away. Mm-hmm. Like really? The Honda? We gotta do something about that front end though. That front end's gotta come down. Viking. I decided. We gotta get rid of that. If I can fist your car, it's no good. It's it's a it's double fist, dude. It goes sideways and everything. It's a, yeah, it's a top hand fist. I measured it, it's like a little over three inches. That's a lot of gap. It's because that motor's too light. Yeah. They're stock ass coils. And again, this was an AC car. We need those coilovers. AC iron block. <laughs> we need the coilovers bad. Look at the gap over there though. Why does that one seem more? <laughs> Why does that one seem more? Why is it Tonka truck? You see what I mean? This side seems way higher. Why is, this, why is it like that? I don't know. Is, it, is this any crooked? It doesn't seem like it. It what? seems level. Are the, are the tires are the same sizes? In the front? Are you sure? Yes, yeah, they're both from a DeLorean. From a DeLorean 235, 60, 15. You really don't believe me. Hey, well, well, watch this one be a 55, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs>
Okay. Yeah. Okay. So does that mean it's my turn? <laughs> <laughs> the back came out good. Like red height wise. I just wish the tire was. Hey, moving. actually, it was crazy because I didn't tighten the shocks. I just put the leaf springs, mm -hmm. and it actually was still sagging. It, it was only up by like half an inch, and I was like, "Whoa, what the heck?" So I went right under, and I started tightening it up, and you can see it go. But everything's tight. Yeah. And there, there's any squeaking noises, clinking, anything? Surprisingly, no. It doesn't squeak. The only thing, though, I think the belt, the belt slipping. The belt slipping? Yeah, I hear belt slipping. I don't know why. <laughs> hmm. it's, it's, it's cool though. I mean, the, the right height looks pretty good. It's like functional, you know? It's not like slammed or anything. No, it actually looks like a pretty decent outside. I just wish it was a little wider. But I mean, this is the front wheel, technically. Exactly. You're gonna put fatter tires in the back, right? Yep. Huh? It's always like that? Always like that? That's there's always there's like inner that. wells that go here. There are inner ones that go oh. Did you leave the tail lights on on purpose? No. <laughs> oh, man, listen to this stuff. That drop right there. Mm hmm. They're off. Did you drive it to work today? No. I'm gonna drive it tomorrow. Hey, the brace, the brace. Yeah, the brace. The brace that actually goes on the car. Well, we were cleaning up some of the welds. Wait, what brace? We made, well, you made a brace? Yeah. Like for the strut hammer? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, I see. It's all super legit and triangulated. <laughs> Boom! Oh, wow. So you guys made these. Which are probably thin wall. Mm -hmm. uh, these stick bad boys. Yeah, these replace. And you match the angles? Yeah. Yeah, this this re it replaces the factory. Yeah, this like this. Well, gonna put it on. I bet you can bend this with your arms, dude, with your hands. It could go on. I just had to. Uh, this is what we wait for clean up the welds. Cut up, yeah, I had to clean up the welds and then paint it. But I want to get it done. Well, I was telling him just to. Barbecue. Just to paint it. <laughs> it's not a barbecue, then he's yeah. gonna take it off. Well, just paint it for now. And when then, um, oh, it's a deal. I mean, and then when he has like a, a batch of stuff to powder coat, then just take, take everything to powder coat that way, everything comes up to for the first time. No, but I'm saying, what are all the parts that I want to get powder coated? What are you trying to match? You're going with the team, you're going with whatever the color or color is, like suspension would match suspension. That's what I'm going with. Oh, so like, no, no, there's red, green filter, like, mm -hmm. no, no, just shots. I mean, yeah, I guess it's good. And then I painted the uh, the headlight buckets. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, that's better. That's how they're supposed to be. And I got the wrap ready over here. So, so first we gotta like. Well, see, I also have like a clunking in the rear end, and I gotta adjust my my. But we can lift it though, so we can. Yeah, I wanna say, should we wrap and then lift, or lift and then wrap? What? I say wrap while, while our hands are clean, mm -hmm. and at least do maybe like a fender or a, or two fenders. That'll be awesome. Okay. A fender or two, and then and then we'll uh, and then we'll lift the car and get underneath and do all that crap. Okay. Well, first the we need. The really dry. The steering wheel? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's go. I need to fix the freaking gauge panel. Look. Right. Yeah, and then I need to finish painting the inside too. Well, what are you gonna paint? White. Those panels that go here, 
mm -hmm. in here and then it goes all the way to like where the door panel is and then the area behind the door panel you see on the top do you think you're gonna make oh, that aluminum or are you just gonna paint this no these there's a panel that goes all you're across here back, huh? i'm gonna put up i'm gonna paint it black first that's the doodads i power washed the car today and i messed up the vinyl up here oh. well it was bound to happen because it wasn't done right the first time but you can see right here it's all messed up it like it like exploded yeah that was pretty bad this side i kind of hit it with the heat gun i could have fixed that if it didn't blow up you know what i mean because this side i mean it's wrinkly but i i, I kind of got it to stick again with the heat gun i guess it just didn't stick right the first time but i think we should start with this fender what do you think with the straighter one But to take out the molding, I need to take off the inner liner. Clean it first. Clean it. And then just start wrapping. Just, what, there's nothing left to do. Just do it. And we'll see how it comes out. Have to do some patches. You can sort of see them here and here, but when you step back, you really can't see them. Little by little. Did you see the headlight buckets? Huh? Did you see the headlight buckets? Headlight bucket. Buckets. Where? Right here, where the headlights are. Oh, you painted them? Mm -hmm. Then we can do the bumper. The bumper's gonna be the hardest part. Oh, there's a beam like that. It looks like it's got like... I feel like I'm about to take the bumper off to yeah, wrap gotta, that. Yeah, I gotta take it off. That's gonna be a bitch and a half. They say I'm going to race car. He actually meant it.
That prep for the vinyl though. Kobe. This car wash only gets washed in the rain. Huh? But this car only gets washed when it rains, huh? That car wash is. Took off like half the primer, though. My side exploded. My side versus Lewis's side. Keep rocking! 
The trunk is done. The grip works patch body. Patch body Mustang. You can't, you can't even see him on the camera. Oh well, yeah, you can. I'll show the view. <laughs> Let them find that on the camera. Slowly but surely. In the roof next. Done for the day. Got the hatch, the roof, this fender. We did this fender, right? Yeah, yeah this fender. The nice one. And the door. It's coming out little by little. Yeah, know your car looks sick over there. Midnight Club Double Edition with the Ducati. I guess in the last video the dash was out. Because you got the dash in now. Well, you know what you told me? That it was uh, clickbait because you said tearing down the whole car and it was just the dash. Who told you it was clickbait? Alright dude, let's clean up and go home. Let's go. So we're gonna make a gauge. Remember when we said we were going home? That was a lie. So we currently wanna have one out of wood with a carbon fiber face. But shit sucks. Make one out of some pretty thick steel. It's aluminum. Aluminum. That's what I meant. It's just gonna be loud. There you go. One eternity later. Two thousand years later.